Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Anthony Brown Show. I'm yours truly, Mr. Anthony Brown. Everybody's going on and on and on about this surviving R. Kelly foolishness. This is bullshit. Just to put it mildly. Um, I wasn't going to chime in on the on this issue or the, the the TV documentary or the series or anything at all. I was just going to just sit back in my corner and let, you know, things play out the way it plays out. But, but something that has definitely been on my spirit and on my mind tremendously that I want to chime in on is, is not so much what R. Kelly has done or not done. But my thing is, for the many years that this foolishness has been going on and taking place, where were the adults on the bus? Where were the adults backstage? Where were the adults in the home? Where were the adults... At the concert halls, where were where, where were the adults when all this bullshit was taking place? So you mean to tell me for all these years that this foolishness and fuckery has been going on with R. Kelly molesting, um, fooling around, raping, abusing, sodomizing, um. You know, doing all these things with underage females and allegedly males too. But with all these years of this taking place, how come none of the adults with any value or any respect for themselves or any morals came forth? But yet, years later, when the money has stopped, when your income flow has diminished, now all of a sudden you want to say something. Now, all of a sudden, you want to come forth and tell your part of the story or, or what you saw and what you assumed and what, what you heard and this and that. No, no. You saw and heard all this stuff years ago. But because he was fattening your pockets and lining, you, lining your wallets, your pocketbooks and your purses, you kept your mouth shut. That's exactly, that's exactly what happened. Where were the adults? Where were you guys when this all was taking place? You know, you sat back and you allowed this foolishness to go on. Yes. Mm hmm. This R. Kelly situation didn't just start. This been happening. All sorts of celebrities, male, female, um, has been talking about it, hinting around. Some were not even hinting. They were just boldly saying it, saying what is going on. But yet. Uh, we as a people have kept the, the, the blind eye or the deaf ear like we don't see or understand what's going on in the R. Kelly world. Like I said, this video is just simply my opinion. This is just how I feel. You know, because I have females in my family. And personally, had I seen or witnessed any of this bullshit taking place with the females in my home, there would be no R. Kelly. And that's not a threat. That's a promise. He he would have to see me. Mm hmm And it wouldn't be nice. Don't let this smooth taste fool you. Yeah. R. Kelly is a punk, a pussy, a coward. Yeah. And anyone who supports him... You're just as bad. And as far as Andrea Kelly, his ex-wife, she claims for, that she's had so many, many years of abuse and she was battered, all this bullshit, but yet she still wants to hold on to his name. So every time someone call your name, only name that's doing is reminding you of the bullshit. And yet you want to hold on to that. So I don't think she was so scarred as she say she is. I think she likes the fame. She likes the notoriety. She likes the publicity. She likes 
you know, her her name being said, she likes to be associated with the R. Kelly franchise. That's why she wants to hold on to the name. Because, again, if I was a female and I had his last name and went through all that, the first thing I would do is change my name back to my maiden name to, to rid myself of him completely. And the second thing I would do all I can to make sure that he's imprisoned forever. He has no place in society. You know, people want to blame it on, well, he was touched as a child or he was raped. Still no excuse. Then they want to blame it on, um, well, he's not educated. He can't read or write. So because of mentally, he's a child or mentally, he's a teenager. That's what he associates himself with is the children or the teenagers. Still no excuse. Because as an adult or a child, he knows the law. R. Kelly ought to be ashamed of himself. This is terrible. This is despicable. It's not right. I don't care how you slice it, how you cut it. Yep. <clears throat> so anyway, <clears throat> I'm just laying around the house having a do nothing day. And this was just came across my mind, the R. Kelly situation. So anyway, I need you guys to comment below, as always. Comment below. See, the nails are growing back. Comment below. Let me know what you think about the situation. Chime in either on the R. Kelly situation, on his part in it, or on the individual adults and their part in it. How do you feel? What would you do if it was your female um, siblings, you know, brothers, sisters, niece, nephews, cousins, children, you know, let me know what you would do in the situation. How do you feel about the situation? From the R. Kelly standpoint and from the other adult standpoint that witnessed all this for many, many years. This is horrible. But nevertheless, you know, I need to hear from you guys. Comment below. And if you guys haven't already, you know, by all means, subscribe to this channel. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up, which is the likes. And definitely share this message on your social media so that all of your friends and family can come to see what's going on over here on the Anthony Brown Show. I just had to put my two cents in. If you don't like it, get off my page. See what it says at the top? The Anthony Brown Show. That's me. Have a nice day.